team. And so now we have a team party. And I didn't drink at all. Didn't do anything. So we have a team party. Someone offers me a beer. We're 17 years old, by the way. And I said, no, nah, I don't drink. And one of the guys called me the P word. So I got mad. Again, like I told you, I'm from the hood. And I said, hey, let's go outside. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, you, you call me the P word? Let's go. And he goes, no, 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 you didn't want to fight me. So I said, all right, well, I don't drink. So shut it. And that was it. So the next party we had, now this, this, this is why I say, like, when you stand for what's right, this is what happens. Like, I was nervous because I'm the new guy. I'm thinking, ah, they're all going to hate me, right, because I don't drink. Well, the next party we had, they had a case of Diet Pepsi, and one of the guys goes, hey, Towner, that's yours. I go, oh, cool, man. So I remember they were playing quarters, okay, and I wanted to play quarters. So they let me play quarters with Pepsi, and then they made me an assistant captain. Boom, instant respect because I stood up for myself. So there's a lesson lesson in leadership by Graham Townsend. Uh, that's a clip from episode 83 of the Up My Hockey podcast, the uh, the link will be in the notes below if you want to watch the entire conversation, which is uh, well worth your time. But yeah, here's here's Graham talking about this moment in time where he's on this new team uh, at this party, and and he he had a choice to make: either he was going to try and you know go against what his belief was and what he thought was the right thing to do, and maybe try and fit in and and uh, and be one of the boys and and try and earn some friends. And instead, he drew a line in the sand and said, "Hey, no, I don't drink." And because he made that statement, because he stuck to it, he earned the respect of his teammates. He earned the respect of the, of the coaching staff, he, and so much so that he, he earned a letter on his chest. Now, being a leader is hard. Doing the right thing is hard. No one's ever going to tell you that it's easy. But that's why being a good leader and having good leaders in your room is rare, because it is such a hard thing to do. And it starts off with the ability to lead yourself. If you can lead yourself and if you can commit to what you think is right and wrong, what's important to you, to commit to the actions required to make your goals and dreams come true, to be able to get that done on a day-to-day -day basis, once you can lead yourself, now you can start to lead others. And that's what Graham did throughout his career. He was very, very committed to what he wanted to become as a player, to what he wanted to do, to the preparation required to do the work uh, and to get the job done on the ice. And then he became an example for others. And people always try and become the example for others. I shouldn't say always, but there's a tendency to try and be an example for others without being the example to yourself. You can't lead others until you can lead you. And it's moments like that, like where Graham shows, where it's a moment in time, it's at a party. There are these going to be these little tests throughout your career, throughout your hockey journey, throughout your life, where you're going to be able to take a fork. Go left or go right. Stay true to yourself and stay true to what's important to you or to maybe go the opposite way to try and, uh, you know, appease somebody else's opinion or what you think they might want you to do. And if you want to be a leader, and if you want to be an example, do what's right for you, and I promise you people will follow. Play hard. Keep your head up.